Good morning to all. This is V. Mavlika, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science for Women, Uzzur. First, what is surface tension? The surface tension is the tendency of fluid surfaces to shrink into the minimum surface area as possible. Have you noticed when you fill a glass up to the brim with water, you can still add a few more drops till it spills out? Or have you ever broken a thermometer and observed how the fallen mercury behaves? All these happen due to the surface tension of the surface. So the surface tension is defined as the tension of the surface film of a liquid caused by the attraction of the particles in the surface layer by the bulk of the liquid which tends to the minimize surface area. So in this video, I am going to explain about how to determine the surface tension using Jagger's method. This image shows for the experimental setup for uh, determine the surface tension using Jagger's method. Uh, the principle is the formation of bubble due to the express pressure, excess pressure. A capillary tube C is partially dipped in water where the nozzle of the tube is at depth x from the free surface of the liquid 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 is water m is a manometer used to measure the pressure difference the capillary tube is connected to the manometer w is a bottle with two airtight corks it is commonly known as wolf bottle water is poured slowly into the funnel so that air inside the bubble is sorry inside the bottle is compressed and excess pressure is built up the manometer records the excess pressure now due to the excess pressure the bubble is formed at the nozzle inside water at a optimum value of the pressure difference the bubble breaks off from the tip of the capillary tube next another bubble starts forming for which the excess pressure is again recording in the manometer the maximum pressure inside the bubble is given by p1 is equal to pa plus h rho g where pa is the atmospheric pressure and rho is the density of the liquid in the manometer the pressure just outside the bubble is p2 is equal to pa plus x sigma g here sigma is the density of the water and x is the depth of the tip from the free surface of the water. So the pressure difference is g h rho minus x sigma. So the bubble is formed inside water so it will have only one surface. Hence the excess pressure is 2t upon r. Here t is the surface tension of the water and radi r is the radius of the tube so we equate by equating these two we can get the sub, uh, surface tension equation that is t is equal to 1 by 2 gr into h rho minus sigma x in fact the radius of the bubble is not exactly equal to the radius of the orifice Assuming that R is the function of the radius of the orifice, the method is basically used to compare surface tension of the liquid at different temperatures. We have so many applications of the surface tension in our daily life. For example, small insects such as the water strider can walk on the surface of the water because of their weighted very less so they can't penetrate the water. Dis disinfectants are mainly the solution of low surface tension so that when we use them in the field they can fall out on the water and spread out on the cells to destroy them. A small needle can be floated on the surface of the water. Then what is the role of surface tension and human health? Surface tension changes in biological phenomena can determine various disease in the human body it has industrial applications also so
so the surface tension is also important for characterization for food pharmaceutical and pa packaging product thank you